right in here. Uh, this is from 10 days ago right now. I believe 10 days ago right now. And I want to play. I want to play this. This clip right here. So you can see what I was talking about. And we can see what has played out so far. So that way we have a good place to start from when it comes to Bitcoin. All right. So this is my Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin price for the next three weeks. I was talking about the Santa Claus rally. All right. Let's start from right here. I think this is a good place to start from. You know, going to continue this, you know, short term uptrend. Uh, but if we do break below fifteen thousand and seven hundred dollars, you know, that should invalidate the continuation of this uptrend. And in the short term, we could potentially get some retest, you know, right down here, guys, around sixteen thousand and uh, you know, basically around sixteen thousand dollars. But as long as we hold, you know, this range right here, I hope you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, as long as we hold, you know, this range right here, we are going to see a continuation of this uptrend. This uptrend right here. So for the next couple of weeks, you know, this is what Bitcoin is more likely to do. Uh, we are more likely to continue. Uh, this uptrend right here and push all the way up to you know eighteen thousand dollars and if we do reach that eighteen thousand dollar level uh you are going to see a lot of you know traders a lot of swing traders a lot of you know short-term momentum traders uh, you are going to see many of them you know take profits uh and the reason is very simple and you know clear and straightforward is because we have this ceiling right here, guys. This is a ceiling, and it is going to take time and you know some serious volume uh, for Bitcoin to break above this range right here. And of course, if we zoom out and we look at you know the bigger picture, look at the weekly time frame. Uh, you know, really nothing, you know, other than this ceiling right here. If we zoom out and we look at you know, a much bigger picture, if you look at the monthly time frame, uh, you can clearly see that in the short term, there is no indication that we are going to see a turnaround, you know, any time in the near future. So that was from... 10 days ago, uh, you can see Bitcoin was trading in the higher, you know, $1,600, uh, excuse me, in the higher $16,000. And I told you guys that we were going to see a rally that was going to push the price of Bitcoin all the way up to $18,000. But once we get to $18,000, we were going to see a lot of profit taking because you have this ceiling right here. At 18,000, all the way up to $18,500. I told you guys that it was more likely we were going to see profit taking in this range right here, in this $18,000 range, and more likely, we were going to see a pullback. Again, that was an update from, you know, 10 days ago. I mean, I was spot on, 100% spot on, because you can see that's exactly what Bitcoin did. We push all the way up to eighteen thousand and three hundred dollars, and quickly after that, 
we got a lot of sellers and look what bitcoin is right now we are back in the higher sixteen thousand dollars i mean absolutely spot on absolutely spot on and this was very uh not easy to predict but this was you know realistically looking at the market you know straightforward uh not trying to pump anything because if you look at the performance of bitcoin you know over the last couple months now the same thing comp uh, you know continues to repeat over and over and over we had the same setup right here we had another you know another same setup right here and this is exactly what's happening again so now that we got rejected you know the question is where do we go from here now that we got rejected you know in this range right here uh we know that we were going to get rejected we just got rejected so if you're looking at bitcoin in the higher 16,000, you know, the questions you have right now is where do we go from here? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys. All right, so looking at the daily time frame, I have a couple areas that I'm very, very interested in in, in the short term. Uh, my first target is right down here, $16,743. And my second target is right down here, $15,900. And my last target, now these are short term potential price targets. My last target is right down here at $15,500. Those are the three. Whoops, let me bring myself back. Those are the three targets. That I am very, very interested in in the short term. $16,700, $15,900, $15,400. So, what I looking at the chart of Bitcoin right now, what I think is, you know, more likely to play out, uh, let me give you guys a more, a more likely scenario to play out you know when i look when i look at the structure on the four hour time frame it is you know very it is very very clear that this is going to be this is going to be you know the target to really keep an eye on in the short term and if this is broken if this support right here at sixteen thousand and seven hundred dollars is broken that is going to be a confirmation that we are heading lower and, it, and let me show you exactly why this is going to be a huge confirmation if you go all the way back if we go all the way back to right here when Bitcoin put in uh, the lows at fifteen thousand and five hundred dollars, if you look at the performance since fifteen thousand and five hundred dollars, Bitcoin has done a great job. Uh, Bitcoin has done a great job with this, you know, short-term uptrend. You have a higher high right here. You have a higher low, you have another higher high, you have another higher low, you have another higher high. And this right here right now is what I'm interested in. So the reason why this is like really, really important, guys, for the first time since the initial of this move right here from 15,000, we all we've done you know, over the you know over the last couple of weeks was you know a really nice bullish uptrend and every time we had a pullback we continue to get buyers to buy the short-term pullbacks 
But for the first time, you know, if we were to break this support right here, for the first time, we broke structure. Again, if you look at, you know, the entire move right here, for the first time, we broke structure. And this time, you know, instead of holding the previous highs, which is right here, instead of holding these previous highs right here, you know, at 17,000 and all the way down to around uh, $17,900, instead of holding these previous highs, we break them. And for the first time, guys, you know, we, we put in a lower low instead of a lower high, like the ones we saw previously. So if we were to break this move right here, that would be a huge confirmation. And the next move is more likely to be a day cap bounce. And these levels right here will now become a resistance. Uh, I hope you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so let me try to clear this up. So if we get a move that breaks this support right here, uh, the next rally is more likely to get rejected in this range right here. And for the first time, you know, we broke structure. We now have a lower low and a lower high. So this next move down right here is more likely to bring us, you know, all the way down to retest $15,500 in the next couple of weeks. But this range right here is very, very important to confirm this move right here. So this is something that I'm going to keep my eye on. This is something that I would definitely, you know, highly recommend that you keep an eye on. And the reason is because if we do come back to retest, you know, $15,500 in the next couple of weeks, the probabilities of a drop into the probabilities of a drop into this range right here that we've talked about for the last you know 12 months right now is going to increase massively if we come back down to retest 15,000 and $500, the probabilities of a drop into this range right here, uh, the range I'm talking about is $10,000 to $14,000 is going to increase massively. And I'm sure we are going to see a lot of buyers right down here.